It's a new day and I'm heading west on I-10. This is a freeway, but since I'm coming into California, Blythe, there's a California Agriculture Inspection Station. Interesting. Oh, I didn't even have to stop. She just waved me right through. So I wonder what they're looking for. Interesting. There's no more saweros. Totally different landscape. Lots of snow in those mountains. So this is my camping spot, kind of close to the next people who aren't here yet, thankfully. <laughs> but there's a hiking trail right across the road from where I'm at. Okay, this is cool. I'm taking an evening walk to Cottonwood Springs. Ah, oh, these are really neat palm trees. Massive. I haven't seen anything like this before. That's what you do when, get when they don't prune them, I guess. I can only imagine the creatures that live in there. You want to say rats, I bet. Anyway, that was really neat. Just really pretty. Nice stairs. And there's my car. And there's Cottonwood Springs Campground. Today I'm doing a hike to the Lost Palm Oasis and it's a gorgeous day. It's gonna be a long day, about a 10 mile day I think, but oh it's so cool. Okay, I made it to the Lost Oases, but I am not going down there. It's, there's no path and it's too steep. And I can see them from up here and there's some up there too. Just amazing. Oh, the California poppies are blooming now. They were closed on the way up. Look at this view. Pretty amazing. Now I'm going up the Mastodon Trail. It's very different terrain now.
well, this is my situation this morning. March is coming in like a lion. And I don't really feel like getting out of my cozy bed. Oh, there will be no hiking today. Not the most ideal of camping situations. <laughs> oh dear. Oh, these people up and left. <laughs> oh yeah. I feel like today makes a really good shopping day. <laughs> now that's kind of pretty. And it stopped raining. <laughs> Pretty, this is Indio Coachella, or however you pronounce it. Well, they got grapefruit anyway. World's finest date shape. Now this I wouldn't mind. Date powder, confectionery, made with just dates. Honey, I don't want honey, I want dates. Date syrup. Mm. Date barbecue. I mean, I would try all of this if it wasn't so expensive. This is fourteen dollars. I don't know what kind of dates to get. All kinds of jellies. So I would be here when there's a tour bus here, honestly. And it's pouring down rain. Okay, this looks amazing. It's even got mushrooms in there. Well, I'm making it back just in time for sundown, but this is looking promising. Well, my mountains now have snow on them. It's a light dusting, but still it's there. And it's two degrees out. history. A lot of mining happened down these roads in the 1880s. But I'm not going there. This is known as a wilderness. I'm having fun stopping at all these roadside pullouts anyway. Seeing the scenery as I go along down the road. I found out that that's called Pinto Mountain. You can hike up to the top of it if you want. <laughs> I don't really want to. This is a special Choya garden. It's wild. But it is hazardous. But yeah, it's just an incredible amount of Choyas all in one spot. Pretty cool. You can see the fruit on them. Now this is the Ocotillo stop, but I've seen more Ocotillos than this before. Anyway, I'm the only one here, so that's cool. And here's a dead one. So if you ever wondered what a dead Ocotillo looked like, there you have it. Now I'm stopped at Porcupine Wash, and I do want to hike this someday if I ever come back here like about an eight mile trail and I think it'd be pretty cool. Now these are smoke trees. I think 
and they're just in this one area that I've noticed, so that's really neat. My last little walk at Joshua Tree National Park for now. I'm not going to explore the northern end of it. This is the Bahada Trail, and obviously it's an interpretive trail. Well, that's kind of special. The California poppies are blooming. Not a ton of them, but there is some. Oh, and the lupins are as well. But they're on their last legs, it looks like. Still kind of pretty. This ocotillo is blooming, yay. Goodbye, Joshua Tree National Park. It was fun, the weather wasn't the greatest, but it was still a really neat experience.